a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Cindy, Nancy, Carla, Linda, Connie, Linda, Joanne, Sherry, Hunches Habits, Becky, Donna, Kim, Roxanne, Maria, Lynn, Robin, Jane, Susan, Greasy, Kelly, Tammy, Lisa, Amanda, Kim, Sharon, and Sharon, Donna, Ruth, Lisa, Natasha, Judy, Cindy, Billy Sue, Marilyn, Peggy, Diane, and Mary, Marlene, Peggy, Gloria, Betty, Penny, Barbara, Kelly, and Leanne. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good evening. You didn't do the intro. Oh, I forgot. They don't like that song anyway. <laughs> it gets stuck in your head though, doesn't it? My song. Okay, today we are both doing something tonight. We're each doing a different project, and we're both doing something we've never done before. And we kind of already started it. Yeah, we started it, so this would not be a four-hour video. Yeah. But we can go back and do the beginning of our project after we do the other part of the project. So if you guys want to come hang out with us, and we can paint for you if you want. Paint and chat, basically. That's what Yeah. We usually chat at the end of the videos for 20 minutes anyway. So. Might as well paint while we're chatting. <laughs> okay, so this is how mine started. Hers looks a lot better than mine. No, his looks good. It mm. didn't look good at first. But the more he painted, the better it got. But it these are wood panels. So I'm going to show you. In the beginning, you saw all the stuff from Arteza. Arteza sent me all that stuff. Thank you, Arteza. Uh, they wanted me to try it out. So that's what we're doing tonight. We did paint these earlier today. I like the, um, ones here, the way it is. It's the, what I used are the iridescent paints. And we're going to open the boxes so you can see all hey, of Ronald. that. Ronald, you are so sweet. Thank you, Ronald, for the super chat. Uh, but these are really cool wood panels. I think they're brand new from Arteza. I haven't seen them. You can do both sides. So I'm going to, afterwards, I'll paint the back. You can totally do the back or the front. You could use this as a tray. We're going to iron on to this. For yours. For mine. Okay. I'm ironing on, and we're going to iron on with the joy. And I'm going to use this as like a teal iron on. So we're going to try that. I think the teal will look pretty on here because my walls are teal. So we're going to try that out. I'm going to use the small easy press, not the mini, although you could use the mini. I'm just going to use the six by seven mini, not mini, not mini, small, easy press too. Okay. The smallest easy press too. It's going to fit right inside here. And we're going to cut this out on the joy. So I'm going to show you, everybody's always asking, they want to see the joy cut. Well, let's see it cut. His project is not going to be cut on the joy. It's already cut. We used a Cricut Maker. You can use any machine. But we cut his logo. So do, would you like to share yours so far? That's what it is. So he's going, do you want to explain what you're going to do? Or do you want me to? Uh, you'd probably be better. It's a hot mess. Well, that's what yeah, it's they call it a hot mess. I don't really know why it's called a hot mess. Just somebody named it a hot mess. So his is kind of like a galaxy look. It's he, supposed to be. He <laughs> used some iridescent metallic and regular acrylic paint from the Arteza. Isn't it? Like, look. Okay. But he is going to put his Beard Adventures logo on here in vinyl. And then he's going to paint over it. And then he's going to put pull up the vinyl. And he's going to have something from there left over in his Beard Adventures logo. They love it, Alex. It's all right. It's just well, it, it and took to, a get lot to get the speckles, there. we tried some things and we didn't think they looked good. And then we have we got the Art Sherpa Galaxy Set Tools. I did put a link. I added the Art Sherpa tools in the description of the video, and I added that maybe only ten minutes ago. So if you started yeah. the video before, you might have to refresh to get those links on Amazon. Um, because we the the stars and stuff they look the tools made it so much easier yeah and it's not the toothbrush tool it's so 
like it's not something you have at home. The toothbrush to tool kind of made it look stringy almost. Yeah. I mean, I it's probably it's okay. user error for sure. But <laughs> no, because I actually looked at one of our Teza videos or on their Facebook. It also looked stringy when they did okay. something galaxy looking. Okay. So here's this. So let's move over to show you the paints and then we're going to get started okay. cutting the project with the join. We're going to do mine first and then we're going to do Alex's. Beard Adventures. Yes, Beard Adventures. Okay. So here are the wood panels. Let's start with these. There's five of them that I think these are, I, I they have them in, the, there's four different kinds. You can get eight by 10 and nine by 12 are the largest. It's blurry. I want to do a paint pour. Yeah, you could do paint pour on these. You could use this as the side you want. Why is you blurry? Here, move the box underneath it so it's not so close. Okay, so these are eight by 10 and they have nine by 12. Like I said, they also have eight by eight and 10 by 10. And if you use one of the links in the description, I do get a small commission, not paid by Arteza to do this video, uh, but I actually love to paint and stuff. I do too, I just wish I was better at it. <laughs> but these are nice, they're really smooth. Like both sides are really good to use. I was also thinking, you know, that my favorite winter sparkle paper, trying to make it not blurry. I was thinking I could cut to put inside here and make a little scene that that paper I love. You could do that and you could build up some paper projects inside this, almost like a shadow box, but not, they're, they're just really nice. Okay, I'll set these over to the side. And, all right, let's go to the big box first. There are 60 colors in here. 60. They're little tubes. They have all the colors right there in the box. It's really a nice box. Matiza always has nice boxes. We did use a few of these today. So, and they have them all together. Like, here's the yellows, oranges reds like brown reds like they just keep going and purple and pink can you hand me my phone so i can see the chat yeah i'm gonna put these back in over here we have blue green more green browns and blacks and grays in there actually i'm gonna get this one out because he needs the black one so we'll set that to the side and we'll put all these away because <laughs> that's pretty much all we used out of this one so it comes in a really nice box that you can store it in. I'll take the black tube out. Well, I just took the whole thing. Okay. Okay, you want to set these over there? Now we have 10 iridescent colors. These are my favorite. Which, for a warning, painting on black... Does not make them turn out the color you see. I had to... My painting, I... It, uh, over a few times yeah he had to put a few layers on because it wasn't what he expected he did was it this one he used yeah yeah so he used this one he first painted his um wood black and then he put this on because he wanted purple well for him it looked blue where i was sitting it looked purple but it just depends on the light it's iridescent so it changes color only these 10 are iridescent Oh, oh, yeah, only these 10 bottles are iridescent, but they're so pretty. Oh, we probably should have shook them too. Like, I love these. These are what I used on mine. I used on, will you show that, get mine? 
So on that one, I used these four colors. And at the end, if you want to see how I blended them, it was really easy. I put, first I did yellow, then I blended two colors on my thing at a time. It was fun and easy and beautiful. But if I would have painted that black first, it would not, the yellow would probably be green, actually. And I did not do a pre-coat of any paint on my wood or anything. It's all ready to be done. So this is 12 metallic colors. These, Alex, which ones did you use? I used the blue. He used the blue and he used the pearl. The white, yeah. The pearl white a little bit. I think... Did I use any more? Oh, the, the pink. I think I used Was that, that a pearl? One. There's yeah, no the, pink one. Yeah, the pearl right there. Oh, this one? It looks red. I believe red. I used a little bit of that. No, I think you had a pink one. Maybe it was from the other one. Oh, no, acrylic. it was the magenta. The, the magenta, magenta? Yeah. From the other one? Yep. Okay. Um... What was I going to tell you? I have no idea. Oh, I was going to show them the black one in here. This black one, it's called <laughs> Fancy Black. It's, it's basically gold. It's it's a dark gold. We put it down to test it to see, and it's, it's kind of glittery. It's pretty much gold. It looks kind of green in light and gold in light. Okay. Oh, this goes here. All right. We need to get the joy. The joy. The joy. Okay. Do you want to open this? The joy. Where's the plug? I just always keep this other end plugged in and then I plug her in here. Her. She's a her. Okay, so let's go to design space. Do we have any questions so far? Please put your questions in all caps. And did I say we're live on YouTube and Twitch? You did not. Toby? Um, Okay, thanks, Jamie. And let's go to design space. So this is what I'm putting on mine. And it's actually a stencil font to where if I wanted to cut this out of like a hard stencil material that you can reuse over and over, I could totally do that. But because uh, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And but I like this font on my project. I think it's going to look cool and I'm going to cut it out of iron on. Oh, the wood came from Arteza. Arteza. Yeah, the wood was from Arteza. I to you, to be honest, guys, I want more of this wood and I'm going to buy okay. more of the wood. I like the wood better than canvas. It's, uh, well, also it's, it's going to be it's great neat. to do pour paints on huh? yeah it's gonna it be so much over. better like well it won't over. like dip yeah you know how the i i think it's gonna be some i like these things so i'm so excited to do this video for you and i'm gonna, gonna do i'm gonna try to do some videos on my channel with it too yes join beard adventures uh let's go to design space i'm still learning we're all still learning i said i'm doing <laughs> something i've never done so I had the maker selected because we cut his out on the maker because it was too big for the joy. So we're going to use the joy in mine. Who here is excited for Saturday night to where they can order the joy? We're going to do it without a mat. Isn't that fun? Okay, so it's... You know what? I know this is so hard to see when you have things in black. So I just canceled that. Let's change the color. We'll just make it green. What font is that? Uh, the font is 
Blipocom stencil. It is a Cricut font that is included in Cricut Access. Okay, so we're gonna hit make it without a mat. Tracy Gambino says you should try canvas panels. Oh yeah, canvas panels would be good too. So they have it set this way. Now, to have it set the way I want it, it won't really fit right on here. Well, I don't think so. I don't know, maybe I could. My plan was not to do this, but um, you know what? It will fit. Okay, let's cancel this. We're going to, let me just move these closer together. How big is that? Okay, so I want these straight. I'm going to go ahead and cut it all together. I was going to do just the word dream it, plan it, and then set them on there. But this is small enough. I don't have to do that. So let's align. Distribute vertically so they're, they're all even placed. And then we're going to center horizontally so they're perfect. I'm going to go ahead and attach this. And I'm going to click make it. There we go. It all fits. I was just going to move them around on the mat where I wanted them. Then I realized I didn't have to do that. But we are using iron-on, so Melody is remembering to mirror. I'm just a little excited that I remembered that, guys. Hit continue. Oh, and we're ready already. Okay, let's go over. Oh, no, we're not. Uh, smart iron on, smart iron on. That's glitter. We're not doing glitter. Ward Fern, you can't get Arteza in New Zealand. I'm so sorry. They do have it in Europe. Um, okay, now we're ready. So now we're over here. Okay, shiny side down, right? No. Yeah, that's how you do iron on. So anyone is as nervous as I am? I've never done this. I feel like I'm gonna do something wrong. We're ready, right? It pulls it in, straightens it out if it needs to be straightened. Oh, and then I have to hit go on the design space. Someone said I would have forgot to mirror. I was actually surprised I didn't forget to mirror. <laughs> the joy comes out Saturday night. It comes out at 9 p.m. Pacific time, 10 p.m. Mountain time, 11 p.m. Central time, and midnight Eastern. If you're on my email list, you will get an email too. And if you have access, if you have Cricut Access membership, you get 10% off. And then you also get 10% off supplies and you can use my code and get 10%, another 10% off all your supplies. Supplies though, not plugins. Yeah. Craft day is March 3rd. Oh, where's my big scissors? My big Cricut scissors? Right here. Because I'm going to cut this so I can save that other piece. Are you telling them about the... Um... Oh, yeah. So I got a inverter for my car that I can use, I can plug that inverter into my cigarette lighter 
And then I can, it has an outlet so I can plug Joy in to my car. And she fits right up on my dash really well. So I can craft in the car. Okay, we have to hit the unload button in I'll the driving. space. Yeah, I'm not going to craft and drive. Okay. Not until my car can drive itself. Legally. Yeah. <laughs> Legally. It does drive itself. I just have to pay attention once in a while. Someday it'll be fully autonomous. Okay, we're going to save this. I can't wait till March 1st. I'm going to buy more stuff. That's, uh, what's, what color is this called? I don't know. Teal. Teal. Craft in the golf cart? Oh, yeah, I could too with that thing. Do you have a cigarette lighter? I do in one of them. You have a USB. And Mr. Cricket use, and Mr. Cricket I do. Oh, do you? My Cricket golf cart. Okay. I actually have a Cricket golf cart. <laughs> Where's my tool? Oh, and with the Cricut golf cart, you have the thing where you can put the window down. So oh we're stopped gosh. somewhere. We're going to go to the sunset. And we're <laughs> going to Cricut on the Cricut watching the sunset. The price of the Joy is 175 179 but if you have Cricut Access, it's only 161 161 If you don't have access, now is the time. It's ten dollars a month, and you're gonna you save more than that just by buying the. And joy. you get so much with Cricut Access in. Design and design space, space. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. It's well worth it. They're always adding more to it without charging more. So I'm just ripping this off. Ripping this off, like I'm stealing it. <laughs> Steve said. <laughs> So that means you can craft messages to the stupid drivers and tell them what you really think. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! <laughs> that is funny! We could do that. Try and get this little piece inside. I don't know. What's Someone's that asking question? if I, if I have access at work, can I use it for personal purchase? I, I don't know how sure. that would work. Like, maybe you have to sign into your work account. Yeah, like it. It's not costing them anything. Like if they already have. You it. have to put in your credit card number. Yeah. And your address. It would be up to your work. <laughs> right. If they want you to use the account or not. But that's worth something just to, I mean, what are they going to say? No? Like, all right, sorry. No, <laughs> no problem. Oh, wait. The A. Okay. Does that look like I read it at all? We did it. Dream it, plan it, do it. No. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, we're done with Mr. Joy. Now it's a him. <laughs> All right. He's going to sit back here with the little crickets. Oh, wait. I have to show you who was here watching our video on Tuesday. Look it. We made this Prince Charming no, little onesie. No, Pinch Charming. Oh, Pinch Charming. I should have used the small. This is not the smallest onesie. So I'm going to make another onesie just for Mr. <laughs> Cricket to wear. We have a smaller one even. But isn't that cute? I think Bobby and Day suggested to put it on the cricket. And he just loves his new outfit. For those of you who are new to my channel, yes, I'm a little crazy. Okay, can we have the wood? Oh, oh we got to turn on the easy press. Oh, it plug. oh, it is plug. Good, good. And we're blurry. What's the uh, temp supposed to be at? We're going to go check it out. Wait, right. it's not even yet. Oh, and we have to preheat this. You know, Ugh. I'm going to try to preheat it here. 
sure. Yeah. I think and see that how that works. Okay, we're going to go to Design Space. So much blur. Is it blurry on the screen? It is blurry on the screen. I don't know why it's it's not there. That is blurry. Oh. And... It like is blurry down there. I think it's the reflection and stuff. All right, well, I'm switching you over for a second anyway. Okay, so we're gonna use the heat guide. Um, March mystery boxes are coming. You just have to wait until they're released. Uh, so we are using the Cricut Easy Press 2. We are using everyday iron-on. Although we're using smart iron-on, I don't, there's no smart here. So we're just going to click every day because I think it's the same except for the backing. Uh, and what are we putting it on? Wood. Painted wood, though. Is there an option for that? No. Oh, all right. So we're going to see what happens. I've never done this before. And we're going to hit apply. So this is a project that you might want to do separate, not watch with. Like, you know, pause and... Yeah. You might so, want to wa watch the whole video and then try. <laughs> yeah. So it's 300 degrees for 40 seconds. It's firm pressure, warm peel, preheat five seconds. So this always tells you the supplies you need and um, the preparation and the application. Cricut's so good about that, giving us some direction. It's got to cool off a little bit. It's currently at 381. Oh, <laughs> we, we didn't set the right time. Okay. It was set to 385. Yeah, for the infusible ink. But if you wanted to preheat it, you could probably preheat it. Oh, yeah, I could. It's actually probably pretty good to do that. Okay. Oh, I wanted a little mat. Give me the mat. I don't know why we would need a mat, but, you know, it's... I don't know. We, we said we were using a mat. Let's go ahead and use the mat. Okay. Someone says, I suggest you do not preheat because of the paint. Oh, that's why I'm going to preheat the back instead of this. Donna, Donna says, sorry I'm late. I have a note. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Wow, this glides really well on here. Is that five seconds? Yeah, sure. Ooh, that's hot! <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not hot here. We'll see. I have no idea. We're we just testing we're it out. I'm afraid to put this straight on the paint, too. Although it will be a little bit on the paint because it's not going to completely cover that. Put that down, see? What happened to the Oh, it's air? warm now! Okay, put it down. How. It's still too hot. It did warm through. You know what? Can you let's put a put put, 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 put a piece of butcher paper. Can you cut me a piece of butcher paper? Yeah. Do you just want to cut some of that off? Yeah. So I can put the butcher paper over my iron on so I won't hurt this. And this is nice and warm. I think that's going to work good. Uh-oh. I just know. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. It's wider than the iron, so that's good. So we've got to put this on. I'm eyeing it. It's going to be so pretty. Pressing this down. It's warm already. Yeah, she she could use the easy, mini e easy press, but she wanted to use this one. Yeah. I'd rather just... So so you did all of that reading to see what you needed to do for no reason. No. Because <laughs> you're going to do your own thing. No, I'm doing <laughs> it correctly. I'm just using this paper just to protect the paint and stuff. Yeah, do you have a... What's a... Sh Fire extinguisher. I don't. I feel like Remember we talked one. about that last week. I don't have a fire extinguisher. Oh, it said pressure. I forgot to push down.
Hopefully the paint's all right. Hopefully. Someone said add five seconds. Okay, I added a few seconds. Now we gotta let it cool. Is it supposed to be a cool? Well, it says warm peel, but we're, we're probably gonna do cool peel. Isn't it pretty though? It looks done in the video. Like yeah, you can't see the right. plastic. <laughs> yeah, just put it up on the wall now. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm gonna love this. Yeah, yours turned out really well. Um, oh, I forgot to put this under it. Oh yeah. Because uh, this is, there we go. <laughs> I forgot to do this. Oh, I wonder if I should flip it over. You do that sense. for shirts. Yeah, but it's not a shirt. Okay. <laughs> One. Oh, we're going to do 15 seconds this side. It might help it stick. Okay. Hopefully the sticky doesn't pull up paint. I don't think it will. And it's pretty hot. So we're going to let this cool. So just t maybe take a picture of what it looks like right here. And be like, oh yeah, it's all good. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you're afraid it'll... I think it'll be okay. Okay, well this is kind of still hot. Let's go ahead and start Alex's project. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, Alex is nervous. Let's just put this, can we? Yeah. Where's my? Let me get my oh, tool sorry. caddy out of here. So we're using this too? Right. Yes. So show them this. So this is Alex's logo. We Beard just did adventures. it in beige vinyl, just regular vinyl. Hi, Sheila. Hey, Sheila, I got a package from you today I have not opened. So this, I need, to, I need to peel this off of here, right? Well, put it down on the table. Yes, ma'am. Alex has never done this before. Maybe. No. Well, For the... not, you've never done the paint no, thing. No, no, no. So peel that back. He's already burnished this down, pressing it down. No. Did you burnish it down on this side? With the thing. You got to pull this back flat. Like, almost like you're folding it flat. Like flatter. Yeah, more like that. So if you've never done vinyl, watch. And we're not sure how well this is going to work because he has so much paint. Yeah, there's a lot of texture. There's a lot of texture. And we're, there's so, like four or five layers of paint on that. See all it's the like, texture? I wasn't happy with. No. He just kept painting. Hi, Angela. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Your S. Well, put it back down. <laughs> oh, oh, help. You're the professional. You, no. Beard adventures. Do you want me to try yes. it? Yes. Yeah, it looks way better than what I was gonna do. <laughs> okay, so now what? Let me feel mine. Oh, it's still hot. Okay. Okay. You should decide where you want the top. Yes, we're using design space that you use for all of the Cricut machines.
Try to center it. Maybe put the middle down first. Or do my own. They love the colors, Alex. It was my first attempt at painting a galaxy. Okay, so now I need to push all these down. Yeah, I told him because of the texture, he really should use a tennis ball. But, you know, Mommy doesn't have a tennis ball. Kobe doesn't play with tennis balls. So I told him to push down with, like, rub with your hand, with your thumb, to try to get down really good. Well, and then you can also rub it again after we peel off the plastic. Why did you say mommy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he does not call me mommy. No. I don't remember. I don't think he even did as a kid. <laughs> Okay, now peel up the plastic, and you have to peel it back flat like you did the other. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna paint on top of this, and um, then he's gonna peel off this vinyl, and what's behind it is what's gonna be left. Although it's kind of pretty like that. <laughs> it's like a weird cream color. Yeah, I know. I did it a light color so you would be able to see it better. Are we keeping this transfer tape? Because it's kind of... Well, not if you ruined it. It's not ruined. I can fix it. It's okay. I have tons. 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 I might have ruined it. Okay, I'm gonna try to take this off now. It's still warm. It takes a long time for, ooh, that's not done yet. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think it's good. Maybe if you peel pl flat. No, you can't peel this flat. Oh. Just leave it down. I think we need to press it a little more. I'm going to use my mini press. I'm going to take it off. It's killing me. Okay. You do yours. Where's the little plates? The chalk. Right underneath my thing. We got these little, from Chocature, we got these little plates. You can put paint on, and you can wash them, and reuse them. And I'm using... Focus. Focus on that. Thanks, Charlotte. It's That's Mars Black. On. It's Mars Black. And then... So you said by the letters I should use this, right? Yes. You should pounce it in. Medium, maybe? Yeah. What are these things called? Um, they're, on Amazon, they're called foam pouncers. They're only $5.99 on Amazon, but it said only one left. Good luck to whoever gets that one. But they usually bring back more. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Yes, I think you are. So do all around the vinyl first, and then you can use a regular sponge and do the rest of it. So I have these sponges I bought like four years ago from Michael's. They were 20 for a dollar. So I grabbed handfuls. A like half full. my cart was full of these. And I didn't just do it once. So I still have bags of these. Yeah, he's covering up everything except for what's going to be underneath his thing. Okay. 
And I think one problem I didn't do on mine is I forgot to do firm pressure. Oh, and it says to do it with the mini press to do the medium temperature. You can just use that and go the rest of it and then it'll all have the same texture yeah. actually. So do everything else real fast. And then you have to take the vinyl off while it's still wet. Having trouble seeing the vinyl. I know. <laughs> Do you need more paint? Yeah, I think so. Not much more. people saying um they're just talking somebody said hello nightbot are you related to alexa and siri <laughs> welcome patricia doms okay that looks good now you gotta take up pick, pick out the vinyl <laughs> <laughs> Lift it up and you can kind of see it. You got a poker? Yeah, here. You said you can see it? Well, oh, yeah. All right. You kind of know where it's at. Once you start it, maybe. I'll show, we'll show you in a minute, uh, Angela. Uh, where are they? They're wood panels from Arteza. They're really cool. Yeah, pull it up. That's okay. Yeah, I know. I just was confused for a second. We did not uh, Sheila, I do it on the first Saturday of the month. So it won't be this weekend. It'll be the next weekend. Can my package wait until then, or do I need to open it sooner? Can I uh, get a baby wipe? My finger is going to be covered in this. They're on your table. No, I want you to see. Those are the good young living ones. These are the cheap public ones. <laughs> Publix. Public. Here. Okay. Thank you. I think that's going to look really cool. If I can get these off of my fingers. Okay. I got you the wet one. I know. That's to wipe my fingers. This is the vinyl sticking. No, don't do that. No, it's not that. What are you doing? It's like streak, like not pulling up the. Do you need a different poker? Okay. 
because if it dries before you get to it all, it's going to be a lot harder to get. So you might need to speed it up a little. Well, I would come back to that part. We got a beard. The word. <gasps> that looks really cool, Alex. Yeah, if I can get it all done. I can't see the editing. Oh, that's a D. <laughs> Would tweezers help? Mm, yeah, maybe as like a secondary. Here, here's some pointy tweezers. And you squeeze them to open them. Do you want me to try to help you? Yes. Can you? Yeah, those big pieces would be easy. It's really pretty. See, can you grab? Hold on. I can see. Thank you. Oh. Oh, I didn't save your thing. I don't saw my fingers though. <laughs> I don't remember what it looks like. There's a mustache. All that we need is the mustache. Can you pull it up a little? Okay. Okay. Oh no, look what's happening. I'm getting black all over me. Part of the fun. Uh-huh. It is um, acrylic paint and it does like wash right off. See, I'm using a baby wipe, it's coming off. The version of DS is the same version everyone has. It's 5.5.33. Let me grab it. Yeah. Goes up and around. Oh, I didn't know what I was grabbing. So, I mean, I've gotten a little bit, some pieces there that I've missed, but. You're on your last S, the one that we put on last. <laughs> the only S? And, oh, it is the only S. That's the last letter. Yay! I'll show that up to the camera. That looks really cool, Alex. There's, if I do, you have a. I don't know what you want. I know. Is that vinyl on there? Let me see. It looks like it could be paint. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Well, if it is, you can just dot it with a little bit of paint there. But that looks pretty good. I really like how that turned out. 
Yeah. And remember when you started? When yeah. he first started, he hated it. I hated it. It was awful. He was trying to use paintbrushes, which didn't work well. The foam actually works better. But that is really cool, Alex. He didn't know what to do. And I'm like, why don't you? Well, he knew he wanted to do Galaxy, but he didn't know what picture to put on it. Or I said, well, how about doing your logo? Okay. So now we are going to try to do this one. I also did not use the heat press. No, the mat. little triangles up on the mountains, that's like a cutout for the mountain. Uh, so I took that out in vinyl, so then you can see that. I'm going to put more pressure. I also forgot to put pressure on this. And I might have let it cool too much. Use the other corner, up top, right? Yay! Dream it, plan it, do it. A little light right there. And so what I did is I painted even inside the lip. Oh, can we show them a plain board? Angela missed the beginning. And you can use the back. So if you want to see how we paint these, let me turn this off. Um, these, Arteza has these, and they come in, this is 8x10. They come in 9x12, 8x8, and 10x10 also. You might want to move that wet paint over there, black paint. Oh. Okay, do you want to like set that over there somewhere? Yeah. Oh no. Why would you paint it somewhere like that? <laughs> so, do you guys want to see us paint this and paint his galaxy? We can kind of both just sit here and paint. I can try to paint. He can try again. to paint his galaxy again. Okay. It won't look the same. No, everything's falling. Get rid of all this mess. Ah, thank you, Scrap and Granny. Says so standing ovation for us both. Yes, Alex's was removable vinyl. He probably doesn't know that because I cut it out. <laughs> but yeah, I used removable vinyl for Alex's. No reason to use permanent. It would be harder to get off. Okay. Let's set this. Let's let's get it all set up to paint. All right. They want to see us paint. Don't plug this guy. We don't need these. Yep. We'll move the easy press out of the way. It's hot. <laughs> easy press is currently hot, so. We're gonna have to put paper down. Oh, we have paper. So yeah, it was Cricut removable vinyl for his stencil. Oh, I guess we need the paints. Let me just get the paints out I'm using. So if you're just joining us, these are iridescent paints that I used for my rainbow. And if you can't paint, you can do this rainbow. It's not really a rainbow. Well, I, it's like it, a it's, sunset. It's, Rainbow-ish. Okay. Do you want to pull the paper over, Alex? Yeah. We don't need this. You guys, it is so nice to have the dream box right behind me. He's already put the easy press away. And then you use some of the metallics. 
Can you get that roll of paper? We're using butcher paper that I bought on a big roll for the infusible ink and stuff. I'm not using this again. Well, not if it has that paint on it. Just get that new roll. Oh, this is the one that we. Yeah, we pre cut, -cut a roll of butcher paper to protect our table. This is live TV, guys. Live TV? Live TV. I was going to do the back of this one just to show how to paint it. So when I did this, I just stuffed, like, I had paint on my brush, and I just, like, stuffed it into the corners as I did this. And then when I was done, I went and just painted the black on the outer edge, which is regular black acrylic paint. I think I'm gonna switch it up. I don't know if I'm gonna do a galaxy. But maybe they wanna see a galaxy. Okay. Do you guys, what, what would you like to do? I don't know, just different colors. Okay, I don't need a new one. I'm going to use this one. Oh. Because I can make another sign on the back of this one, and then I can flip them over and have one on each one. Okay, so I'm going to start with mine. Um, I'm going to... I, I start with the yellow and I start right down the center. Guys, I'm going to move this. It seems like it's blocking. They said freestyle, Alex. You get the wood piece at Arteza. There's links in the description below. That's where we got all the paint too. This is iridescent yellow. So how I'm gonna start is I'm gonna just put yellow all over the whole thing and just start in the middle. Um. And I don't, it doesn't matter if I'm in any lines or anything because actually when I'm done painting all the other colors, I go back with yellow again. I'll try to do another. You need to get in view here. I know. I'm trying to figure out what colors I want to use. I'll, this is making a shadow. I'll attempt another galaxy. Okay, so I got my yellow down. So now I'm going to use the next color, shady black. orange. I'm going to use this too. All Put right. On the black. Okay. So I'm going to put shady orange and I'm going to put it right next to the yellow. Oh, well, this is actually kind of running well. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip half of my sponge in the yellow and the other half in the shady orange. So I'm just going to kind of do this. So I have both colors on there. Actually, when I did this, I did it this way. I think it was easier for me. So then I'm going to put the orange side here and the yellow side there. And I did not have enough paint. I'm just painting mine black right now. Yeah, he's just doing black at the moment. So now I'm going to turn this around. You could just turn your brush around, but I'm just turning the whole thing around. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of yellow. 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 You making fun of me? Nope. And I got a little black paint on here and here. 
so it might not be the best. And now I'm getting paint on the edges, but we can always paint over that in black. I didn't put enough orange down. So there's the, the middle of it. We'll get it brighter. And I'm gonna put more of the shady orange I just used, cause I used it all. And then I'm going to use Can you some plates? fiery red. And before you use these paints, you have to take the lid off and it has a little plus like foil white foam wrap thing. protectant. You have to take that off. They'll realize, no. Yeah. So now I put some of that down. And so now this is the orange and this is the yellow. I'm going to, where I have my yellow, I'm gonna stick it in the orange. And then where I have the other orange, I'm going to stick it in the darker orange. So I'm also doing half and half like I did. And then we're just going to move up here just a little bit more. And you don't even have to do straight lines. I'm using fairy tale blue. And then I'm just going to turn this around so I can just keep my That's the sponge thing that the same. Talking about. Oh, yeah, you have to take that off. And um, I don't know if you all know this yet. Alex and I are taking a road trip to Vegas and we're going to be there for two weeks. I'm going to be in the hotel room a lot. I'm going to craft and do videos from the hotel room. I will be doing a lot of adventure videos. He's going to go out and do some more adventure and do videos on his own a little bit. I am, we have a dining room table in our room, so we're making that into a craft room. <laughs> Okay, so now. Bye, Sheila. Bye, Sheila. I'm going to do the purple. And I'm going to put that next to this orange. Trying not to mix the purple and yellow because purple and yellow make brown. So now I'm going to put half and half on my thing and the purple on the outer edge. Okay. I might add just more purple. Video it doesn't look as purple, but it will. And for mine, I probably should let the black dry. Yeah. Do but you want a hair dryer? You kind of put the black on kind of thick. Yeah, I didn't. You gotta scoot to, over a little. I didn't mean to put that much black. But that's all right. I don't know how much paint to use. <laughs> Any more purple? I'm almost done. Yeah, and I just started. <laughs> Good thing we're doing it at the same time.
Okay, now I'm going to, I'm gonna just squirt some yellow in a new one because I don't want any other color in it. And grab a new brush. So all of this I've done all using one sponge. Oh, there's more purple. Just add that on there. Using one sponge without cleaning it. Now I'm adding more yellow. And as it dries, you can see how it got brighter. Like if you're watching the replay of this, you could back up and see how it's gotten brighter since we've done this. I'm gonna add more yellow. And then I'm gonna blend the yellow over the orange. <clears throat> and I need more yellow. But I always say just a... I'm using pearl pink to look. Just a little, you can always get more. I used the wrong end of the brush. I had the orange on that end. Uh oh. That's all right. It's still pretty. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I'll just have to decide maybe another day. Okay, Alex, look in the video of yours. It's just black, isn't it? Yes. Hold it up to the to the camera, see if they can see. There's some color in there. It's kind of a mess. It's it's gonna take forever to dry. Well, I'm not an artist. Yes, you are. Everybody is. And if you just joined, this is what we ironed on to it. This is the other side. Alex, they're asking you to describe what you're doing. Uh, Scoot over. Put your paint over so they can see what you're... What you're Painting. Those are turning to black, it looks like. I'm just trying... He's got pink on there now. Yeah, I'm trying to... It's so much. wet. I know. I want... Do you want to use this heat gun? I don't, I don't know. It'll dry in a little. But it's not. It's just a mess. <laughs> well, that's what you said before. I know. <laughs> and I'm not learning anything. No! He said last time, where's your other galaxy? Let me show them for the people that don't know what you're doing. He said the same thing last time. And so tonight he had that beautiful background in there and we put vinyl over it and then painted black. And look how pretty it turned out. I think I, because earlier we let the black dry. So now the black is just over. Like, yeah, that's why I'm saying we need to put a dryer on it. Okay. Let me just. Because you're just blending all your colors uh, yep, together. That's what I'm doing again. I'm doing it on purpose this time. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. Steve says, yes, use the heat to dry it. Anything, but it kind of gives it that. I have a hair dryer somewhere over here, but I don't know where. That gets really, really hot. So. Is it turned on? Thank you, Shar. Hi, Nikki.
Yeah, Fatima says galaxy looks like a hot mess while you do it, but it always turns out cool. Is good? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Touch it. Let me touch it? Yeah. Well, it's not wet. I mean, it's not dry. It's almost dry. Sorry, this sound is annoying. Yeah. So this is what underneath there. Isn't that awesome? It's not completely dry yet, so don't touch. Okay. Where do I put that? Somewhere. Okay. So now I guess I... Blue. What about some pearl white or something and then paint on top of that? Yeah. I had this somewhere, but we're going to get a new brush. It's too much. Betsy, so what he did is he did like this. He painted those colors on the whole thing, and then we put vinyl over that. And then he painted over the vinyl and everything in black. And then he pulled the vinyl off and that's what he had. So what he's painting now is to try to recreate that a little bit. It's not going to be exact because no. you'll never make it exact. All right. So here I'm going to... Bye, Glenda. And then I painted this and ironed on... Cricut iron on in teal. And we're using like iridescent and metallic paints. And I just got more paint on myself. We can see that a lot better now. Okay, uh, somebody's asking for a link to the heat gun. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the chat. I really like this heat gun. Or I wouldn't recommend it. There are things I have that I don't like, and I'm honest, and I say I don't really like this that well but it's what I got. Maybe, do we need the light brighter on you? No, I think I'm just gonna do the... the Show it up. Yeah, I can see... Oh, oh yeah, see it looks so, much better. Yeah, once it dries, now I just need to add the white. Like I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the... Kind of blending with everything underneath it. No, but we can see it. Maybe if you scoot it over here, we would see it better. Yeah, we can see that better. Let's scoot you over. And now I think I'm just gonna do this. Sprinkle the the stars on them. I'm happy with with that. It's kind of a welcome, Jennifer. You can now use all my emojis. Remember, you put it back in the package. Okay, show them the package. 
It's just missing the. There's another piece that goes right here. It's this guy. We used it earlier. This goes inside here. So it's a little kit. It's called the Galaxy Brush Kit by the Art Sherpa. The Art Sherpa is has a YouTube channel. She does amazing. Now she is a real artist. She does amazing paintings. And, okay, you guys tell me this. I've already talked to the Art Sherpa, Cinnamon Cooney, and she says I can do this if I want. So what I was going to do, she teaches art how to paint on her channel, and I thought it would be fun to paint along with her by having her up in the corner teaching how to paint and then me trying to do what she's teaching live. Yeah, I've, I've thought about trying to do videos like that. So I've just been really scared to do it. But if you guys want me to, if you think, I mean, I might not do a good job, but I think it would be fun if you don't expect me to be perfect. Oh, this is where I put water in it, right? Yes. So what he did, show them your water. So he was drinking some water earlier and he needed water for the brushes. I said, just use your water cup. It was almost empty. And yeah. then he just added more water. So show them what you're doing. I'm putting this thing. It's like it's like a weird brush. It's like plastic. Like Yeah. So he's uh, getting them wet. Um, and it just barely reaches the water. So I mean, you can use a real cup of water. Yeah. But. <laughs> so he gets it pretty wet, and then he puts it in the paint. Into the white. And then I put my finger out, like so. I just, oh, some big loops there. That's all right. And then these have, they do look a tiny bit different when they're dry. Yeah, those are some really big gloops though. Gloops? Gloops, gloops. Do you want to put a paper towel over it? Like, and suck some of it up? Because it's pretty wet. Yeah, I think I dried it before I did this last time. Oh, remember you did the brush and then you painted that? Because you didn't like them, but I think that added to the whole thing. What? Remember you used the toothbrush and you splattered it, but you didn't like it, so then you brushed it with one of these? And that kind of that kind of made it cool. But then we cool. painted over it. That was one of the other layers. Oh, well, it still has some on there. It still <laughs> looked cool. I don't know. Looks all right. Yeah, that actually looks really good. I wasn't looking. I was reading the chat. Now, here's... And then if I if you don't like the stuff on the outside, like there's some splatter marks here, but you could just paint black again. So then here's... Um, this one has a little bit more pink and purple Yeah, I put it. a lot more brightness in that one. Yeah. And you know what? He could go back over and paint this one. This one again, if you yeah. wanted to, you can always go over it and do more and more. Okay. I think we're done. Do you want to come over here and we'll show our... Yeah, let me make sure all the paint is... Put the lids on? Yeah, lids are on. Here's yours. We'll be like little kids and show our artwork. Here, we should do a screenshot. Like, sit pretty. No! Sit up! Stop it with the <laughs> Wait, here. Dream it, plan it, do it. Okay, guys, now I want you to dream it, plan it, and do it. Anything you can dream, you can do. You can have anything in life you want. There's enough money for everybody to be wealthy and have abundance and have everything you want. You just have to want it and be open to it. I promise. It's real and it's there and it's for all of you. 
You can all have everything you want. Just dream it and you can have it. You don't even have to plan it. You can just expect it and it'll come. Okay. Um, thank you everybody for being here. It was fun. We each did something new tonight we've never done before. And I think we did pretty good. And if we can do it, you guys can do it. You watched us do it. Uh, the only thing you didn't watch us do is do the very beginning thing. but Which we, mine took way longer than this because I kept... Yeah. I just wasn't happy with it. Yeah, he was not happy with it, so he kept painting and kept painting. Yeah, uh, I think these wood things would be great to do pour paintings on. I really like these. I'm excited. I gotta buy more. I like. I want to do square ones too. I need to make an order. All right, guys. Thank you for all the subscribing. Make sure you subscribe to his channel also, Beard Adventures. We're gonna drive to Vegas. It's gonna take us two and a half days. We're doing it in a Tesla, and it's all electric, so it's not like your normal drive. And I'm gonna bring my Cricut Joy. And I can use my Cricut Joy on the dashboard. But we're going to be live streaming the whole trip from his channel. That'll be April 22nd is when we're leaving for Vegas. So make sure you click that bell. Yeah, you could do Halloween on one side and Christmas on the other. Totally. You could do St. Patrick's on one side and Easter on the other. Fourth of July. Thank you, guys. I'm so glad you joined us. Corey Try likes it laugh. when you laugh. <laughs> we still got a few months before we leave, but um, it's going to be, isn't it? <laughs> it's almost March. We have a month and a half. Oh, maybe. A month and three weeks. I plan on still doing my videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the hotel. Yeah, we're, we're bringing not... Not that. We're not bringing that thing. We're not bringing the, the dream box. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they would <laughs> like pulling up with a U-Haul. <laughs> We're moving in. Um, but yeah, I don't want to go to Vegas and run around everywhere. I kind of just want to stay in the hotel room. And uh, She is taking a vacation though. Uh, Sundays will be. Somewhat. Somewhat. But if, when we do the Thursday Night Lives, it's going to be daylight. Oh, yeah. It's, gonna it's only going to be 5 o'clock, I think. Oh, but we're still doing no. the same time? Yeah, it's still going to be 8 p.m. Eastern. So well, are they it's on? Pacific, it's Pacific. I asked Alexa okay. today. Right. So it's, I don't know. Alexa, what time is it in Las Vegas? In Las Vegas. It's 6.23. Yeah, so, yeah. So it would start at 5. Uh -huh. And we're going to do it in front of our big window. It's floor-to-ceiling window. Yeah, it's a huge window. Is it, are, are we for sure, is it going to be the same one that I did a walkthrough on? Yeah. So if you want to see what we're staying in. It, it's big. <laughs> We've never stayed in anything so big. I just recently shared a video of the walkthrough when yeah. we looked at it. We're staying for two weeks. The first week, we're only staying in half of that. And the second week, we have the whole thing. And so when we have the whole thing, we have four bedrooms and six bathrooms. Yeah, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. My assistant may come to Las Vegas to take that up, she's getting married, and her and her husband may come. They've never been to Vegas. For mine, a link. Ugh. I don't because I don't think I can. That's. I have it saved. Oh, there we are. Let Let me find Beard Adventures. It is in the description of the video. A link to his. Hey, it did work. There it is. Hey, there's me. And I'll share it too. Where's the video of the hotel? It's the third one. Westgate Las Vegas Presidential Suite Timeshare. It will be fun. We'll do another tour again. 
There's the video of the place. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Hey, there I am. Um, I, I feel like after painting, I need one of those. I need a different kind of hat. A beret. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys. We're going to let you go. <laughs> um, we did. We went to Hoover Dam in 2018. Yeah, there's I a video. I did a sunset video there. And I think there's a video on my channel. We might hit the yeah. Grand Canyon on the way back. Yeah, I'm hoping. On the way there, we're going to take a different route, so we're not going to even go by the Grand Canyon. Oh, will daylight savings affect your time? I have no idea. Oh, but no, I'm bringing... I am bringing Alexa with me, so I will know. <laughs> like last time, you guys, we went, we got to Vegas. We had no idea what go. time it was. Like we didn't know what time zone we were <laughs> no, in. We had no idea. <laughs> Neon gray, right? I'll have to look that up. Sounds fun. All right, they're already saying toodles. No. All right, bye guys. I love you, and we'll see you Saturday morning. And I'm so excited! Join my joy. Facebook group. Okay. I don't know if I'll be here Saturday morning. Yeah, you need to probably Uber this weekend. I plan and, on it. I'm going to work um, tomorrow night. There's going to be a giveaway March 1st, starting at midnight. I'm sending it out. You can win a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. A lot. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Toodles. Kobe snoring. Oh no, I don't know when we're done. <laughs> that well, when we don't go up there. Is. Huh. Well then, if you're still seeing us, <laughs> goodbye again. <laughs>